What's going on guys? Welcome back to Team Big Play. So for today, uh, this video, we're going to be talking about a hand trap that isn't necessarily new. It came out in Flames of Destruction, which was like half a year ago, maybe a little bit more, I would say. Um, and this hand trap is really good. I started seeing it played in a little more uh, solid man grades, and uh, I like to play it in Prank Kids myself. So uh, the name of this card is, I have it right here, Iron Dragon Tiamatan. I want to say Tiamatan, but I, I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Iron Dragon Tiamatan. Uh, it's a level four dragon. So let me read this effect to you before we kind of go too deep into this. Uh, dragon effect cannot be normal summon set. Must first be special summoned by the following effect. If three or more cards are in the same column. So that doesn't mean you have to have two and special summon it to make three. It's three cards in the same column. So for solid man grades, you would normally have uh, Sunlight Wolf, something else, maybe Mirage Stallio, and then you could set your um, solid man grade Roar. Or for me, since I play Prank Kids, I would put Bow Wow Toad and then the Fusion spell. And then, uh, if three or more cards in the same column, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand anywhere. Obviously, you can't special summon it in the column with three because you need the main monster zone, but any other one. Uh, and then here's the catch. You can only use this once per turn. If this card is special summoned, destroy all other cards in this card's column. Neither player can use the unused zones in this card's column. So one, uh, it's Ghost Ogre for the most part, obviously, except excepting that main combo. So if you're playing that main column, so if you're playing Mech Knights against this, you might have a decent chance. But the way I've seen it played is not only is it Ghost Ogre, you can use it to cut out your opponent's extra monster zone. Now, depending on what deck you're going against, that can be pretty big. If you're going against Cyber Dragon, obviously it doesn't matter too much because they can get rid of that extra monster zone you have your extra deck of monster in. Uh, if you're playing Solid Mangrades, you know, get rid of the Sunlight Wolf. Uh, or if they're playing Dangers, all they have to do is Bigfoot to just get around yours. But if it's big enough, something like a Boral Sword maybe, or something that can replace itself like Bow Wow can, you don't even need to worry about that. But in many other cases, especially Sky, oh my gosh, especially Sky Striker, some of this against Sky Striker, boom. What are they going to do? Kagar you, Hayate you, you go against, uh, what's another relevant meta deck, Thunder Dragons? or even like, um, was it Gar Dragon, Thunder Dragon? They can't, you can't really, you can't do anything. How are you, like, you can't go into Colossus, just one Colossus. You can't go into um, Saryuja Skaldred, unless the only way you could is if you were playing Solid Mangrate because Sunlight Wolf, you know, it points to your opponent too. But if you're playing something like uh, Prank Kids, I'm trying to think of some other decks this might work in, I would say it would work pretty well in Cyber Dragons. Um, maybe Guard Dragon because it is a dragon, but I feel like this hand trap has gone relatively under the radar People look at it and they don't necessarily understand the effect So um, I think I'm gonna set up a board here real soon So that way I can show you how this works to kind of help you understand it But I feel like personally this is one of the best hand traps right now and just nobody's playing it Like I'm about to start running this thing at three. It's awesome. It looks insane. It kind of looks like firewall dragon I'm gonna get the card art up there. Like, dude, this thing is a behemoth. Not only that, it's a dragon, so you could probably find some way to search it. It's a level four dark. The only catch is its special summon. But even then, you put a 2,000, because it has 2,000 attack, you put a 2,000 attack body on the field, too, that your opponent has to deal with. So, you know, it just the rewards keep racking up. So I'm gonna set up a board real quick so I can show you how this card works. I'll let you determine for yourself what you wanna run it in and uh, what decks do you think it would be good for. So, yeah, let's just get straight into that. All right, so when playing Prank Kids, this is normally the board I'll set up if I uh, draw into Tiamatin. Obviously, it can be anything like this. Um, this can be whatever my, it, whatever deck you're playing. So as you can see here, we have three cards in the column. Uh, Bow Wow, totally awesome, and a Face Down Spell and Trap, which is Pandemonium. So because I have three cards in the column, right, all I have to do is... Um, Wait until, okay, so let's pick a deck for it. Let's say I'm going against Thunder Dragon, right? Three cards in column, boom, pass turn. Uh, because this card is on the low, people will be like, uh, okay, very susceptible to uh, impermanence, I guess. Even though, you know, because of this, I can tag a, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, draw phase, 
boom, special this, effect, destroyed. So granted, I can't use this anymore. However, my opponent can't use this column. They so they can't use this extra monster zone, they can't use the monster zone below it, and they can't use the spell and trap zone below, which is insane. Not only that, I put a 2000 attack level four dragon on the field that, by the way, this can't be called by the grave. You can't call by the grave this. You can't ash it. You can't, like the only thing you could do is gamma it. I'm pretty sure you could gamma this thing. But think about how impactful that is for a second. Your opponent can't use this anymore. This is dead. Um, so the only thing that left, they have this. Now, if you're using Sunlight Wolf, obviously Sunlight Wolf points there, so they still have an extra monster zone, so that's kind of besides the point. But if you have something like uh, Bow Wow that doesn't point, or like you're running, you know, Nightmare Unicorn, uh, you can completely cut this off, and your opponent's just dead screwed. And then, so obviously, you know, if you're playing Cyber Dragon, like I said before, they'll get rid of this. Um, that's where tagging out comes into play. But, yeah. So, I'm going to read her this again. That way, you know, you see it. Three cards in the column. I can special summon this here, 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 or here. So not only can you use it to cut off the extra monster zone, like let's say if you're going second, if you set up this board, uh, let's say your opponent's playing striker, right? Bam, hit the multi-roll, because no. in most cases I've seen multi-roll put in the middle. So you know, you can use that to hit the multi-roll, then they can't use that main monster zone, not that they really use main monster zone. Anyways, um, yeah, and it's, it's like super, under the radar like nobody uses this but it's the best hand trap i just don't understand it uh let's see what else here is probably worth mentioning about this uh it's super cheap it's like under two dollars so uh that's pretty good sally has only one printing so if you want this i would buy it now while it's still cheap because all it takes is like one deck that can easily set up this such as prank kids um that's consistent to fully abuse this oh that's that's what else i want to mention this is a really good side too so like let's say you're going first if you side for going second let's say you win specifically because of this uh your opponent will be expecting it however um you know you're going second so making this might not always be optimal and might not always be an option so you can side this out for another hand trap let's say ash blossom like i feel like this is really good in conjunction with something like Ask Blossom or Ghost Ogre because you main this first, go first, set up this board, then side this out for Ash for the second round because they're going to be waiting for this, and then you just Ash them and you know you hit their combos or like um, Fantastical Dragon Phantasma, you can side it out for um, Pancreta, anything. This is like, I don't know, I personally feel this is the best hand trap, but I'm rambling at this point. You now know what it does. Um, so I'll let you decide for yourself whether you think this is actually God tier or not. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. So as always, like, subscribe, notification bell. And yeah, I guess I will catch you in the next video. Peace.